Well, thank you to the uh, organizing committee for the invitation to speak and uh, to all of our hosts here in Argentina for a, an absolutely wonderful Congress. Uh, I've had a great time and eaten probably more beef than I usually eat in a month, but I've enjoyed it all. Uh, I have two things to start with. One, I assure you that Dr. Nagorny and I did not get together and color coordinate our slides. Uh, the green color, I think, is peculiar to hepatobiliary surgeons. Second, if Dr. Nagorny had weak data, I'm afraid what I'm going to do is take you on a trip to Disney World here because uh, in the area of ablation of neuroendocrine metastases, it's highly anecdotal for the most part. So why should we even consider surgical treatment? And again, by surgical here, I include things like invasive treatments, including ablation. Well, we know that the liver is a common site of metastasis from solid tumors, and as you've heard, with neuroendocrine tumors, the liver is a peculiar site. In many patients, somewhat similar to colorectal adenocarcinoma, where the liver may be the only site of metastatic disease if you can resect the primary and the regional adenopathy associated with it. And so, again, surgeons have been interested in pushing the envelope and saying, well, since disease is confined to the liver, can we impact on survival of these patients by being aggressive?